Softball presented by T-Mobile 5G Home Internet. Jack Turner Field in Athens. It is game one of a three-game series between 20th-ranked Arkansas and third-ranked Georgia. Four wins overall. Dealing with some issues injury-wise on the pitching side that they'll have to navigate this weekend, Michelle. Ripped into left field. Reagan Johnson begins things with a base hit for the Razorbacks. Very close. Keep in mind the third base umpire is pulled over behind Correct. second, so that's why the appeal went down to the first base umpire. He does not have the greatest look. That's in the dirt, and that throw gets away. It'll be Ray Davis. And now Kramer walks, and just like that, Razorbacks have a couple of runners on to start the game. In her first year with the Razorbacks has already hit 11 this year. That's high. That's deep. That's way out of here and gone. An early statement from the Hogs comes from Bree Ellis, a three-run blast. Well, Mark, that's exactly what we said. Damage done by Bree Ellis, and Ellis comes up in a situation with two runners on. First pitch, it's that curveball on the inner half. She's hunting it. You can see it. She's nice and open, and because of the way she's open, she gets that barrel through and is able to pull this pitch down the line. That is a moonshot. Arkansas easily putting those three runs up on the board without even having a out on the scoreboard yet. And I think that's a pitch she's going to have to throw consistently in this game. Says so well, throw it again then, Michelle. There you go. And it's better to do it early so your offense can recover. <laughs> Doing it in the first instead of the seventh. Well, there's one off the elbow guard of Hannah Gamble. It's going to get past Lindy Ray Davis and allow Hannah Gamble to advance down to second. Lined into center field. Sydney Chambly was getting the start in center for the banged up Dallas Goodnight. Took a Via Carter to center field, and this time Chambly comes in to make the catch. Leading off for the Dogs, and works one towards center field. It's fading and out of reach of the second baseman Kylie Halverson, and drops in for a base hit. For the pitcher, you can see it really focused. Mosley is one of the best at it. Slightly open stance, so those eyes can be really focused on that right hit. And a strikeout for Leinstock. I don't know. Tied for the conference lead. It's one over the, towards the shortstop, but backing up. It's caught by Lauren Kamen's in. The pad, it looked like it had a chance to get lefties out. But you can see that gray shaded area. Below the strike zone, that's where she gets people to chase pitches low out of the zone. It's going to be a wild pitch, allowing Lindy Ray Davis to scoot down to second. <laughs> Use the dirt. Inside ball four to Kuma. Bounce to first, snagged by Briella. She steps on the base to win the threat. 70, still rising. That's a sun. Ryland Hitchcock, slow ground ball to third. Sarah Mosley goes right. Pitching in all three games at Ole Miss last week and gave up just two earned runs. And 12 total innings, that ball's to right. And snagged by Jada Kearney. Now, she was shot and becomes a three-run shot. Now back to the top of the order. Reagan Johnson guides it to left. Jaden Goodwin able to knock it down. So Reagan Johnson. Johnson at first, two outs. Kramer. Up back to the circle. Backus. Fires to first to retire the side. So the Razorbacks. So it's always nice when you see home runs hit into the, uh, into the crowd. Our first pitch. Hits Jaden Fields. She's so competitive. She is. I'll never forget the dog pile when they beat Florida. <laughs> Back to the circle, soft tossed. 
to second base. And the line stock. Second strikeout from Morgan through that drop that she's using the dirt. Chambly ground ball to second base. Halverson goes to first for the out to retire the side. So the leadoff hit by pitch. That is in play on the right side, and Digby makes the catch. Get into tough environments that her numbers actually move up. To right field and down for a base hit in front of Kearney. So Kennedy Miller. Four. To third, Mosley out at second to first double play. Bulldogs turn their 15th double. Is Oklahoma apps vulnerable this year? Yeah, I, I believe so, yeah. Louisiana gave them the first loss of the season. And a gamble. What would we call that? Hope? I, hope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's hope. They need hope. They want hope. Mosley deep to left, but there is Reagan Kramer right at the edge of the warning track. Just the level of that pitch coming through so that you give yourself a better chance of getting on base. Base hit through the hole. Kearney extends the third inning for the Dogs. Which Oregon line stock. It's a slow ground ball to short. Arn Kamen's in, fires to first. And the line stock works around that two out hit. We have finished three innings. Halverson chops it out to shortstop. Gathered by Armistead, and then he throws out Halverson. Right now, Karen Weekly's team is running on all cylinders. 19 straight wins and beating the conference. Comes back and completely fools Carter. And that's straight three on the inside corner. And Backus does set him down. Nice ball, right? Our game has really been built around the rise ball, but when you can roll drop balls it's a game changer and that one pitch out I've always said one pitch outs are gifts from the softball could do something different slow roller back to the circle he might stop jammed up Jaden Fields Armistead back up the middle it's kind of a knuckleball it almost hit the base at second and then Cammons in come on That is strike three, comes out of the glove, and Miller's going to go tag her for the out, and that's going to end the inning. Sweet over the plate. You know, it, it's tough at times. When people know you, you have to figure out different nuances on different ways to get hitters out. Hamilton sends it to left center field, the track down in the alley. That's Jaden Goodwin. At the Olympic level, elite pitchers work on the corners. Now with the infield in, cheating in, Reagan Johnson just drops in on the grass. Last time up, hit one back to the circle. This one to second. Rebound, Kuma. Well, immediately had an eye on the base runner, Johnson, at first, but Reagan Johnson did not stray too far with two outs. A three-run home run in the first as accounted for the scoring. The runner goes, a little protective swing. The throw down to second is late. Regan Johnson is perfect 11 for 11 in steal attempts this year. Try for that curveball. That drops and moves away. Reels fouls it off. And the eighth pitch of the at-bat, a one-hopper out to Kuma. Ends the inning. Dogs come up in the fifth. First pitch swinging. Chambly out to second base and Halverson. One pitch, one out for Morgan Linestock. I know if their hits are for extras. Halverson again. Two ground ball outs to Kylie Halverson here in the fifth. Good two on Mosley. Four in a row, it's 
tired by Linestock. She sets them down in order and fans her fourth of the Arkansas. Yolanda McRae was with her for a very long time at Maryland and other programs before she went to Arkansas. Just built a really good team around her. Miller pops out. That's a really good plate appearance there by Gamble, who eventually works a walk. And that strike through that time, says plate umpire William Lopez. Just take over where they left off, and sometimes that's not the case. Sends it to left center field. Goodwin to her left makes the catch. Side retired, fourth run. Three nothing game. The only runs came for the Razorbacks. Three run home with Brie Ellis. Three batters into the game, and that's to the alley on left center field. Cut off by Reagan Kramer. She does a good job to hold Kearney to a single. Her second base hit of the game. Second time Kuma has walked. Those are the lone two walks. A little more difficult to try to roll that down, that ground ball, get that double play. Center field. Caught by Reagan Johnson in the runner's hold. Goodwin jumping on the first pitch. Hit it pretty well, but not the medium center for the first out. Yeah. I think we were on a home run when she took that swing. Jaden Fields turn. Ground ball towards second. Halverson takes the out at first. The other runners advance 60 feet. And on two pitches. And she buried it. Coming back to the plate. Miller couldn't gather it. And Haley Eaton scores on a wild pitch. And now they throw the ball away. It's a one-run game. Wow, that is not something you see very often. It's going to be a wild pitch out of the hill. Down the left field side, foul. So let's look at this again from up high. There's the wild pitch, and it looked like for a moment that if Miller's able to come up with it, she might be able to get to the plate in time. It would have been close. Well, it's interesting because she sends her pitcher back to the circle, and then she goes to throw it to her, and she just throws it away, and the middle infielders are pulled in. Kamenzin and Hobbitson are pulled in to talk to their pitcher, and so nobody is backing up. If the middle... Oh. Got it softly right side! And then Robertson couldn't handle it. Puts the tie run at second. Second wild pitch of the inning from line stock. Back in the Razorbacks just trying to get out of this inning with the lead intact. And they do. What a completely bizarre sequence. This innings of relief. Only the starting pitcher, Lily Backus. Now the right field side slicing into foul ground. A long run and tracked down. Uh, Jada Kearney within rolls, hits the tarp, the rolled up tarp, and kept his. She's going to track this down. She's got a long way to go. And so look at how far she has to go. It looks like it's going to be out of play, but she goes and gets it and then says, I'm a softball player. I'm not on the gymnastics team. And uh, <laughs> love to see her come up with the smile. Walter celebrates it after she throws it. She threw that aggressively, and sometimes she hides it a little bit too much. Uh, Tries to be too perfect with it. Out the center field, Sydney Chambly camp there. Gobbled up by Armistad. They retire Reagan Johnson for the first time. Right at Chambly. Base hit. What an 0 2 pitch. 0 2 pitch, Mark. For 29 walks in that leadoff spot. On base percentage, 500.
There goes the runner. Throw down his second leg. I mean, if you've got 28 RBIs in that leadoff spot, you're doing something right. Ball squirted out. They're going to have to throw to first to complete the strikeout, and Miller does so. Bad and Kearney on deck. Tap back to the circle. She can't feel it. Chandley advances to third and Mosley reaches. Kearney pop up on the infield. The shortstop Cannons in makes the catch. Huge second out. For Third time that Kuma has walked today. Boy or the other. It is. Good one at the plate with the bases loaded, two outs. Popped up to short. Kamins and makes the catch. And the Razorbacks somehow hang on and take game one of this three-game series by a final of three to two. Wow, that is a great effort by the Razorbacks. Tried to give the game away to the Bulldogs, but able to bring it back in and pick up a big first victory of this.